Hey, what's up, guys? One Wicked Super here with uh, yet another update on the uh, Super build. I haven't really done a video in a while, but I figured I'd do a quick little video to uh, kind of show you guys my progress with the car. Um, cut right to the chase here. The whole rear subframe is out. I'm not really sure if I already went over that, but we, my uh, dad and I, took the whole rear subframe out. Um, <clears throat> it had I had a little metal problem that I'll show you guys subframes in my garage but I had a little uh one of the flanges was a little bent um so got my coilovers uh or stock struts springs shocks whatever the fuck you want to call them I've got those sitting here with the brakes kind of zip tied to them um I'm actually ordering new coilovers on Monday I'm gonna get TN or Tyne uh however you pronounce it Flex Z coilovers um did a lot of research, posted on some forums, some pages, and pretty much best bang for the buck. Um, they're, you know, really good quality. The reason why they're so cheap, they're not really cheap, they're $800, but um, the reason why they're not as expensive as, like, HKS, Hypermaxes, or something like that is because they're sealed. You can't rebuild them, which I don't really mind. Um, but anyways, subframes out. Um, subframes over here. And... As you guys can see, I bought a TT Auto Diff. Um, I was going to go with this differential right here, rear end, um, because I initially planned on going with a 6-speed. Um, it's a 3266 gear ratio. Uh, but I picked up an R154, as you guys know, and the most common gear ratio used with that is the TT Auto differential, which is 376 final drive ratio. Um, which work pretty much perfectly. The first couple gears are pretty much identical to a Supra with the stock V160 and 3.13 rear end, um, 220 millimeter big diff. This is the uh, 200 millimeter small differential, same size as the Lexus SC300, GS300, you know, SC400, um, and NA Supra, and everything. Um, it's a limited slip, which is why I bought it. Uh, I paid a thousand bucks for it. It's pretty much a going rate for it. Already had axles laying around, and yeah. Um, so basically, this flange. One of the main concerns with the car when I bought it was this flange right here it was really banged up. It was bent. Um, someone hit it with a hammer many times to try to get these camber bolts out, which are a complete bitch to get out. You just basically just have to take a sawzall blade and cut them out. Um, and he beat the shit out of this flange and ruined it. So I brought it to a frame shop, and the guy did an awesome job, completely rebuilt it, and all the holes line up, everything's good, um, so I'm really happy with that. And just to be on the safe side, I picked up some FIGS engineering tow rods to pick up for when I get an alignment in the far, far future. Pick up for any, um, what's the word I'm looking for, any slack that... You know, maybe this flange may be off a little bit, and these these are completely adjustable, so you know, kind of compensate for that. Um, <clears throat> got it over here too. I got a bunch of new camber bolts, and I mean, everything's pretty much in. Everything's tight, um, and yeah, I mean, the only thing really I have left is the uh, sway bar. I ordered the sway bar. Um, I have the bushings, and I have the uh, over here. I have the bushings. And I have the sway bar end links. Um, interior. That's what it looks like right now. I got my radio mounted and wired in place. Uh, I got an odometer too. So I just need to get the plastics. So I'm basically going to mount the odometer. Mount this all into place. I've already got the check engine light thing. Um, and I have a steering wheel coming on the way. And I have, it's three spoke 9798 steering wheel. It's going to go right here. Um, so that'll be a big progress update. Kind of the interior will almost be done. Um, got the bushings, got the end links. Um, as you can see, here's what I was telling you guys about. You have to cut them out. The camber bolts are pain in the ass. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my update. Um, gonna put the sway bars on, gonna rebuild the emergency brake, and I'm basically gonna put the subframe back in with the new coilovers and then on the front I need to 
get a sway bar as well. As you can see, my end links I'm just kind of dangling there. Cars, no sway bar or something. But the front, I'm gonna swap out the coilovers and put it on its wheels and put it away for the winter. Start working on the engine and transmission. So, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. It's pretty much my update. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to subscribe and comment with any suggestions. Thanks.